Hello again, peoples. So Parvati is the Hindu goddess of love, fertility and devotion, and also determination. She is the gentle and nurturing aspect of Shakti, the divine feminine energy of the universe. She is the mother goddess in Hinduism, and a source of power and beauty. She is also the wife of Shiva, the supreme being, and is worshipped for help with marriage, parenting and fertility. She is considered the mother of Skanda, the god of war, and Ganesha, the remover of obstacles. She is usually depicted alongside Shiva with two arms and holding one lotus, or she is represented alone with four arms holding two lotuses. Let's find out more. Parvati, which is a Sanskrit word for mountain, and also called Uma, is the wife of the Hindu god Shiva. Parvati was created to marry the god, specifically to bear him a son who would destroy the demons that were driving the gods out of the heavens. After Shiva's first wife Sati died, he withdrew from the world in mourning. He retired to a cave in the mountains to immerse himself in constant meditation. During this time, the demons of the underworld rose up and began overturning the gods in the heavens. So the gods went to Shakti for help. She told him that only a son of Shiva could conquer the demons and save them. She was then reincarnated and born to Mina and the mountain called Himalaya, also known as King Himavan, Himavat or Parvat, as Parvati, specifically to seduce Shiva out of his seclusion and to become his wife. After many failed attempts, Parvati decided to immerse herself deeply into her own austere, ascetic spiritual practice. This devotion impressed Shiva, and he decided to marry her. The couple had two children, Skanda, the god of war, who was born when Shiva's seed fell on Agni, the god of fire, and Ganesha, the lord of obstacles, who Parvati created out of mud. It was Skanda who was then able to defeat the demons with the help of goddess Kali, another manifestation of Shakti Parvati. Parvati is a benevolent goddess and is always depicted as a mature and beautiful woman. She typically wears a red dress and may have a headband. When depicted alongside Shiva, she generally appears with two arms, but when alone, she can be depicted having four. These hands may hold a variety of items, such as a conch, a crown, a mirror, a rosary, a bell of flowers, such as a lotus. One of her hands may also be in front in the Abhaya Mudra, which is the hand gesture for do not fear. One of her children, typically Ganesha, is frequently shown on her knee, while Skanda may be shown playing nearby in her watch. She is often represented in sculpture with Shiva, either as an attendant figure looking on as he performs a miraculous feat, or engaged in a game with him in their mountain home Kailash. In some incarnations or manifestations, particularly as the angry, ferocious aspects of Shakti, such as Durga or Kali, Parvati is shown with eight or ten arms, and stands on a tiger or lion. In benevolent manifestations, such as Kamakshi, the goddess of love, and Meenakshi, a tutelary or guardian deity, she is associated with a parrot that sits near her right shoulder, symbolizing cheerful talk, seeds and fertility. A crescent moon is sometimes included near Parvati's head, particularly in her Kamakshi form, symbolizing her being the other half of Shiva. Parvati is also sometimes shown with golden or yellow colored skin, particularly as the goddess Gauri symbolizing her as the goddess of ripened harvests. A common symbol for Parvati and Shiva is the form of a yoni and linga respectively. Yoni means womb and place of gestation, and the yoni linga represents the origin, the source or regenerative power. Often called Shiva linga, it almost always has both the linga and the yoni, and represents the interdependence and union of feminine and masculine energies in the recreation and regeneration of all life. In some temples and art, the iconographic representation of sexuality, fertility and energies of Parvati and Shiva is more explicit, where they are shown in various stages of sexual union. Parvati has many attributes and aspects, with each of her aspects expressed with a different name. 
giving her over a hundred and eight names in the regional Hindu mythologies of India, along with Lakshmi, the goddess of wealth and prosperity, and Saraswati, the goddess of knowledge and learning, she forms a trinity of Hindu goddesses just like Shiva, Vishnu and Brahma form a male trinity. Parvati is considered the source of all forms of goddesses and she is worshipped as one with many forms and names, with her different moods bringing the different forms or incarnations. There are specifically 10 aspects of Parvati that are known to represent her power and knowledge. Together, these 10 aspects are known as Dasa Mahavityas, and each of them is thought to be a form that Parvati took on to destroy evil and bless her worshippers. The first of the 10 aspects is Kali, known as the destroyer and the goddess of time. Next is Tara, a representation of the power of the golden embryo or golden womb, symbolizing the source of creation from which the universe evolves. Sordasi is the third representation of goddess Parvati, representing perfection and fullness, while the literal meaning of the term Sodasi is one who is 16 years old. Next, the forces of the material world are represented by Vitya Bhuva Nevari, while desires and temptations that often lead to destruction and death are represented by Parvati's fifth form, known as Bhairavi. Vitya Chinamasta is the sixth form of Parvati and is known to represent the created world in a continuous cycle of creation and destruction. She is often shown as holding her own severed head and drinking blood from it. Destroying the world by fire is the seventh form of Parvati and is known as Dumavati. It is thought that after the world is destroyed by fire, only smoke and ashes will remain. Parvati's eighth form is Vitya Bhagala and represents cruelty, hatred and jealousy, the negative aspects of any individual. The power of domination is Parvati's ninth form known as Matangi, and her tenth form is Vitya Kamala, the goddess Lakshmi, who is the goddess of fortune. As always, thank you so very much for watching. Please support me by subscribing to the channel and liking and sharing the video. Till next time, bye bye.